TikTokers Who Did Terrible Things, Episode 26. Nathan Charrington, Creator Class Type, Party Bro. Specialty, dancing in my living room, claim to fame, one hell of a wild ride. And believe me when I say, we are not talking about driving. All right, so here is yet another one of those accounts you probably didn't know existed. With a little over 2,000 followers, this TikToker out of Perth began posting back in January of 2020. And although he would only post about one time a month, he did this consistently up until January 15th of 2021, just a few days prior to one of the most tragic and disturbing incidents you have never heard about. Well, one night, Charrington, along with his best friend Augustus Kennedy, had decided to grab and indulge in a certain psychedelic substance. Now, they would spend the first portion of their night out on the town, and by all accounts, everything had been going off without a hitch. But as the night starts coming to an end, they make the decision to head back to Nathan's place. And at some point between A and B, Nathan becomes increasingly agitated for unknown reasons. And upon arriving to his home, he has gone absolutely off the rails in what can only only be described as a literal drug-fueled rage, screaming at the top of his lungs. All the while, Kennedy is doing everything he can to bring Nathan back to reality. However, all of this chaos would come to an extremely violent end, in the form of Nathan grabbing a kitchen knife and taking Kennedy's life. It was at this point, Charrington would then walk out into the street and continue to pace back and forth for about an hour. Then, knock on a neighbor's door to inform them about what he had done. Well, first responders would state this was one of the most horrific scenes they had ever come across. And upon further investigation, there was plenty of evidence to suggest that a very prolonged struggle took place in multiple areas of the residence. I mean, at one point during the attack, it is said Kennedy must have fallen on the couch and completely given up. Charrington would then stand over him on the couch and continue to attack him. Now, while most people can agree this horrific attack most likely would not have taken place if it wasn't for the aforementioned substance, many are heavily divided on what the appropriate punishment or this crime should be under these circumstances. With that being said, Nathan is currently being charged with murder in an ongoing trial. My friends and frenemies alike, we'll see you on the next one.